Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Steven Aldaco. I've been living inside my Honda Element for two years and this is the story about how I got my catalytic converter stolen. Also in this video I'm going to share some tips with you to help prevent your catalytic converter from getting stolen and also some things that if it does get stolen that'll make it a little bit easier on you. And for those of you who are wondering why someone would even want to steal a catalytic converter Inside of the catalytic converters contain precious metals. Those precious metals help break down the exhaust fumes which help d dissipate some of the pollution that cars emit. So people will steal the catalytic converters and sell them for scrap for those precious metals. And some of those catalytic converters will like get you a lot of money. Anywhere from $500 to up to like $3,000 depending on what kind of car the catalytic converter was originally connected to. So anyway, that's why people would steal them and here's the story of how it got stolen on mine. So luckily this isn't a recent story, this happened a few years back, but a friend of mine had just graduated college and we decided to take the Element on a road trip all across the coast of California, all the way up to NorCal. We'll spend some time in Big Sur and San Francisco, and that's where I got my catalytic converter stolen. So we stopped in Big Sur, we did some like amazing hikes, and we parked the element right next to the beach. It was incredible. Then we went up to San Francisco, we ate some really good food, some pizza. After so many days of traveling inside of the Honda Element, like in the dirt, in hiking, all that stuff, we were filthy and dirty. So we decided to get a hotel for the night so we can clean up and freshen up for the trip back home. So I parked the car in the hotel parking lot and we enjoy our stay, we shower up, we get cleaned up, all of that stuff. And this wasn't like a, a shady motel, it was like a nicer hotel. I can't remember off the top of my head what the hotel was, but it wasn't like a, a cheap Motel 6. It was a really nice hotel. So I wake up the next morning, I go into the Honda Element, I turn the key, and I just heard this huge rumble, like rum, 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 from the exhaust. And immediately, I knew exactly what had happened and I knew my catalytic converter had gotten stolen. So I went underneath the car and take a look and sure enough, it was a boom, clean cut. They had stolen my catalytic converter. So oddly enough, there was a police officer in the hotel parking lot. So I went to him and I was like, hey, someone stole my catalytic converter. He's like, all right, let me take your information down. And if we come across anything, very unlikely they would call me back. So anyway, it's Sunday so of course all of the auto shops are closed and we have to drive back down to Southern California which is about an eight hour drive away and now I have the Honda Element which has no catalytic converter and I'm deciding whether I should just wait and call in sick for work or if I should just drive it the way it is. While there's no real reason you can't drive a car without a catalytic converter it's extremely loud it's so loud it sounds like a Ferrari race car engine but less uh, sporty <laughs> there's also the potential that if you're driving your car with your muffler that loud that you're gonna get pulled over by the police I figured if I did get pulled over the police would understand the situation so we went for it we drove eight brutal miserable hours with my Honda Element screaming through the exhaust. No matter what we do, we could not drown it out with music. It was terrible. <laughs> Luckily, we made it back safe, back into Southern California. And the next day, I took my car to a muffler shop where they welded on a new muffler. And I wanna say the total cost to get that repaired was about 200 to $300. It was kind of a shady spot, the spot I took it to to get the muffler installed and I was a little worried that it wouldn't pass smog. In California they have very specific regulations on what kind of muffler you can install onto the cars. But luckily when I took my car to get smogged it passed with no problem and I haven't had any problems since. And now that I have an aftermarket catalytic converter, it's less likely that I'm gonna get it stolen again because the value is in the original OEM 
uh, catalytic converters. So while it was a really big pain in the butt to have that happen, and Honda Elements are one of the most targeted vehicles because the Honda Elements a little bit higher, which makes the catalytic converter really easy to access. Uh, same with trucks, same with vans, and also the Toyota Prius for some reason is also a really targeted car. Okay, so what are some things that you can do proactively to make sure that your catalytic converter doesn't get stolen? Number one I would recommend is to get comprehensive insurance um, by your insurance company. It only costed me like 10 bucks over the course of six months or something like that. In the event that your catalytic converter does get stolen, your insurance company will reimburse you for that. And it's super likely if you have a Honda Element parking in the city that it's gonna get stolen one day. Another option I've seen people do is that they take their catalytic converter and they spray paint it with a very high temperature spray paint. So if they went to a junkyard and tried to sell the catalytic converter, the most junkyards wouldn't accept that catalytic converter because they know that it's been stolen. And this has become such a big problem that a lot of auto mechanic shops and even police stations offer a service now where they can etch the VIN um, onto the catalytic converters, which makes it a little bit more difficult for the thieves to sell that catalytic converter. Lastly, there are a few companies out there which will sell catalytic converter cages, and this is essentially a metal cage that you can put around the catalytic converter, which makes it a little bit harder to steal for the, for the thieves, so that's another good option, and they're usually not that expensive. So that's the story about how I got my catalytic converter stolen from my Honda Element, which is a total van life nightmare. Any sort of mechanical problem is a nightmare, especially when you live in your vehicle and especially when you're out traveling somewhere, it's a really big hassle because then you have to find a place to stay and a place to drive if you need to get around. So you can be a little bit proactive, take those steps, protect yourself um, from getting your catalytic converter stolen. So I hope you never find yourself in that situation, but if you do, hopefully this video was helpful to help you navigate that situation. All right guys, well, hey, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, uh, let me know down below in the comments or just give me a thumbs up and that'll also help people looking for this information to find it. Quick apologies for those of you who watch my channel for hiking content. I'm having a few injuries with my knee and ankle and once those injuries heal up, I'll definitely be making more hiking guides for you all. So hang tight, stay tuned for that. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. And for those of you who aren't sure what a catalytic converter is, it's this thing right here. So this is not the original one, so it's less likely that they'll steal it. But you can see right there, those little lines in between uh, here, that's where, they weld, that's where they welded on the new one. So hopefully that never happens to you.